Buffet, and welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today I am gonna be reacting to some of my old pictures, like baby pictures up until like middle school-ish, and just kind of like explaining what was going on. I thought this would be entertaining for people who have been watching for a long time to see a little bit more into my life before I started my YouTube channel. Without further ado, if this sounds interesting, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe, turn on those post notifications, and let's get started. First up, we have a picture when I'm like maybe six or seven, something like that. My hair is crazy. I don't know what's going on. I don't know where we are. My brothers are wearing collared t-shirts. Interesting. My hair's just always been crazy and I just wanted to show you guys so you could appreciate that. Oh my gosh, this picture. Okay, obviously it's Halloween. I don't know what my brother was being. He's wearing a suit, I don't know. But I was obviously a pirate, looking great. Um, a pink pirate, of course. I actually remember, like, I've had this costume forever. It's probably still in the Halloween box in my dad's attic. I remember this costume, like, vividly. Okay, I love this picture. It's like my first little, like, model picture. A cute little self with my, I don't know, it's just so tiny. Like, how was I that little person? But I feel like this picture, like, you can really see that I'm gonna look exactly like my mom when I grow up. Like, you can see my mom in this picture. It's so weird. And, like, the hair, like, that is my mom's hair. <laughs> so weird. Speaking of my mother, so I have two pictures of me at a soccer game. The first one is with my mom, and the second one is with my cousin, Tierney. She's always been, like, my best friend, and she was always, like, my favorite cousin <laughs> growing up, and we'd always, like, play together, and, yeah, so you can see she's at my soccer game. And I just want to point out the little rosy cheeks. I've always had really naturally rosy cheeks, and it's just the cutest thing as a little kid. Like, look at that. Oh, my gosh. But I started playing soccer I don't even know, like when I was born, I think I came out of the womb playing soccer. Um, my mom was my soccer coach for a couple of years and yeah, I stopped playing when I got to high school though. Okay, we've got a nice little picture. I'm assuming this was like Easter. That looks like a very Eastery dress, but it could have just been a Sunday going to church and I'm just loving the hair. The little pin that matches the dress, yes, we love that. And the purse? I think I remember this purse. I think I would put like little stuffed animals in it and then just bring it everywhere. All right, we've got my first like sassy picture here. I don't know what I am. Like a cowgirl rock star question mark? I really couldn't tell you. I also have no idea where this picture was taken. Not a clue. I don't know where I was. But I had that hat, the like pink cowgirl hat till I was like, like probably in high school. Like I literally had it in my closet. It was just like, I don't know. I, I don't ever remember where it came from. Now I know, I've just had it forever. <laughs> All right, happy birthday, Sydney, at seven. So obviously my seventh birthday, February 26th, it's coming up. Look at those little braids, are you kidding me? And the Hannah Montana shirt, like, are we surprised? I've been a Hannah Montana stan since day one. This picture just speaks for itself. Okay, so now this is about fourth grade. So I was probably like 10, maybe nine in this picture. I'm shoveling snow off my trampoline. I guess I was super excited to like go jump on the trampoline, but it was snowing. But if you could kind of zoom in, you see that on my deck, there's like no like a deck part and we could just run off the deck onto the trampoline. And this is when I thought my dad was the coolest person in the world because we all really wanted to take it off. And then my dad comes outside and he's like, I was actually gonna do that anyways because we had just put the trampoline there. And we we're like, oh my gosh, our dad's so cool. So we would just like run off the deck onto the trampoline and we'd do tricks off the deck onto the trampoline and it was just so much fun. So I used to really, really want to be a cheerleader. I ended up becoming a cheerleader for eighth grade and I always wanted to do competitive because my older brother did it, but I never really got into it because it is kind of difficult, but I really love doing stunts. So um, here's the most basic stunt in the world, but I was like, yes, I'm a flyer. And you can see my inverted elbows because I can't make a perfect V because my elbows, we love that. <laughs> Here's a picture of me and my mom. The resemblance is like crazy. Like from day one, I've looked like my mom. It's literally wild. And my mom looks so cute there. She's not aged at all since this picture. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is me and Jasper. That is so cute. I look ridiculous. This was when I cut my hair short. Worst mistake of my life. But it's such a cute picture. Oh, okay, so now we're getting into the Disney World picture. So my brother, my oldest brother, was in competitive cheer and he went to Worlds and Worlds is in Disney World. We went to Disney World and this is actually where I met my step siblings and my stepmom for the very first time. We all met here. And I love this picture because Logan is trying to hold, um, I forgot what that ball is called, but he's trying to hold it. And he is so far off, but like this is the picture. Like that's it. 
I also used to wear that shirt every single day. We have a picture of me laying in an S for Sydney, obviously, of course. Wearing the same shirt. I think that's the same day. Okay, so then we go to an aquarium, and I threw a fit about this. My brother wanted to stunt me up, like a one-man stunt type vibe, and I would hold the shark on the ceiling, and it would look cool. And I was like crying, screaming, I did not want to do this. I'm like 10, throwing a fit. And I remember my stepsister was like, I'll do it. And I was like, well, she can't be cooler than me. So then I did it. And that's where this picture comes from. And I'm wearing the classic Aeropostale shirt. Okay, so this was in fifth grade. I think this was my 10th birthday. And we had just moved to Texas. My dad and stepmom had gotten married. And I had my sister cut my own bangs. And that is where you get the tragic across the forehead bangs that I will never never do again and my hair was finally starting to grow a little bit so it's not super short but it's still pretty short so this was fifth grade this was the school i went to in texas and i'm just straight vibing we've got the like this going on down here i thought it was really cool to do that i would assume this was some sort of choir thing because i'm wearing a choir shirt so there you go um speaking of choir in fifth grade if i went to choir practice with my stepbrother then i would get chick-fil-a so it was like, I think it was like every Wednesday, we'd wake up really early, get Chick-fil-A on the way to choir, and then go to choir. Like, I didn't really want to be in choir, but I wanted Chick-fil-A. And that was like the incentive my stepmom gave me. So I was like, I'm down. So I did it. So this was one of the first cruise that my family went on when we all became like, uh, like the step family and everyone, like once they were married. We went on this cruise and this is an iconic picture because the shirt, the headband with the flowers, like, okay, so on my debit card for the longest time, they kept putting my picture on there, but they never took a new picture. And I got it when I was like 11. I'm wearing this headband in it. And my most recent debit card, they took it off. Thank goodness, finally. But I used to use it to buy things and people would be like, why do you have a picture from when you're like 10 on here? And I was like, long story. Okay, going back, this is fourth grade. I'm wearing an elf costume, I think it was. Um, it was for like the school play. It was for like um, a choir thing. Why was I always in choir? I can't even sing. I don't know what my deal was. Okay, so this is me and my brothers. This is the cutest picture ever. Logan, so cute. Are you kidding me? Me trying to get in the picture. Maybe I wasn't welcome, I don't know. Jordan, he's a teenager. He's too cool for us in this picture, but I just love that picture. Okay, me and Logan have the cutest pictures together because we almost always like went to the school, same school together So I feel like we got a lot of pictures like this together, but this is crazy hair day. We're just vibing I just think this is so cute. Like you can tell we are siblings Like we kind of have the same eyebrows going on the same nose the same smile same eyes like we are Definitely siblings and it's so cute. I I love this I'm gonna have to post this on Logan's birthday. I'm gonna save it. Okay, so my parents went to Hawaii on one of their anniversaries and they brought back these like Hawaiian dresses and outfits. So my whole family had like matching outfits and I think we went to like Florida or I think it was probably North Carolina or Virginia. That's where we used to go to the beach because my mom's family is from Virginia. So I love this cute little picture and I have the little dent in my head. I've had it forever because my dad dropped me on a burger when I was two, but that's another story. Okay, so this was kindergarten or first grade. I'm not sure. I'm at a zoo and this was one of my best friends in elementary school and the dramaticness. Like, are we surprised? Okay, so then we have this one, also very dramatic. I was playing dress up. I don't know where I am, but we just gotta appreciate the fit. We have to appreciate it. Okay, so then I also, I was in the gifted program. It was called Wings and I would go every Wednesday and we had to write skits and then we would perform the skits for our parents. And I remember this so vividly because I had to fight my parents on wearing the skirt because they thought it was too short, but I said it was perfect for the play. And so I wore it because it's like the cutest thing ever. Um, I don't know why they thought that skirt was too short, but um, it's fine. This is the cutest picture ever. All right, we've got me riding a horse. I'm pretty sure this is in like Montana or something. I don't know. I look crazy. You can tell um, I was with my single father because my hair and my outfit like definitely makes sense. <laughs> Cutest picture ever. I'm probably like three or four in this. When I was a kid, I had curly blonde hair. Cutest thing ever. Like this is pretty much my natural hair. And this is like the hair I was born with. I'm obsessed. Love the fit, 2000s fit, we love it. Clearly my mom picked it out, so cute. This is a, one of the few family photos that I have, but I just love this picture. I don't even know how old I am. It's Christmas, this was the house that I was like born in. I still remember like this house and 
where we lived and I remember like my brother shared a room and I had my own room. I don't remember that much because I was really, really young. I remember the house after this a lot more, but love the matching fits, of course. That was like, my family always did the matching fits. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love this picture so, 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 so much because it has my grandparents in it and my grandfather recently passed away. I say recently, it was a couple years ago, but still, that's like pretty recent. And yeah, they're the best. I love them. I'm gonna love this picture forever because I don't really have that many pictures with my grandpa and so I really like this picture. My grandpa was always very, 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 very protective of me because when I was two, he was watching me and I was getting closer and closer to the railing to fall off the deck and the rails were too far apart and he was like trying to get me to come to him and I stepped back and I fell off and I almost died. <laughs> Uh, it's kind of a long story, but I survived. I went to the hospital. I was all good. Yeah, n not a good time for my grandpa. So since then, they had put in more railings so that the grandkids wouldn't fall through. And my grandpa was always very, very, very protective of me. So this picture just gives me like good, wholesome grandpa vibes. Oh my gosh, this picture of me and Logan. Uh, Logan has been my best friend like since we were born. The best brother ever. And so is my other brother. No favorites here. No favorites. But I feel like I have a lot more pictures of Logan because we were closer in age, we're three years apart, and my older brother is six years older than me. So I have so many cute little pictures like this with him, and oh my gosh, I'm so cute and little. Okay, so now here's some pictures of me, Logan, and Jordan. Um, my dad owned a company called Assist to Sell. There's like three of them, so I'll go ahead and put like all of them up. But we, he would always dress us up in like the Assist to Sell outfits and take cute pictures of us, and like everyone at the office knew who we were. So those, those are just some good memes. Okay, so then this was when my dad was a single dad and we had recently gotten this puppy. Her name was Kelsey and she's a beagle. And we're at the lake. First of all, I really remember that swimsuit for some reason. I remember that being like my favorite swimsuit. I don't know why I remember that. I was probably like mm, eight or nine in this picture it looks like. And my dog, we got that puppy because my childhood dog was going to have to be put down soon. She was 17, she was going deaf and blind. So we got this puppy and one week after we put down my my childhood dog my puppy got hit by a car yep it happened and we had to put her down so i have very few pictures with my puppy but i remember loving her so much here's another picture of me at the lake on our boat those were good times okay so now i'm a little bit older actually a lot older but i just want to throw in a picture of me from middle school this was eighth grade i'm a cheerleader this was at a basketball game and yeah I feel like not many people know, but I, I was a cheerleader for like a year. Another picture of me in my cheer uniform. Um, this must have been someone's birthday or something. I actually know exactly which restaurant we're at it. But I mean, we all look so young, we're such babies. My mom, she looks the exact same, she's so cute. Logan looks so, like such a little baby in this. He's probably, a, what, like sophomore in high school in this picture or something like that. There's another picture of me cheerleading. I love doing stunts, it was like my favorite thing ever. And, okay, I wanted to throw this in because me and my sister used to always do acro yoga together and this was at Niagara Falls and I just feel like it brings back a lot of really good memories so I just kind of wanted to throw it in. But I used to always do this thing with my hair to make my ponytail look really, really long because I wanted my hair to be down to my butt but it wasn't yet. It was probably like to here at this point. Um, I would do like a half ponytail like this, but like have all of this up too. And then I would do two more ponytails. So the longest part of my hair would be like this, but it'd be in a ponytail. It kind of gives you that like Ariana Grande ponytail type vibe. But I thought I was so creative and I did my hair like that literally every day. And then, okay, I wanted to throw this picture in. So this was eighth grade and we've been on a field trip with my OA teacher, Outdoor Awareness. And we went fishing after doing our fishing unit. And I caught this fish. This was like my first time ever catching a fish that I remember. I didn't know what to do with it. So I was like, okay, here's my fish, take a picture. And then I just chucked it into the lake, like full on threw it. I didn't know what to do with fish. I'd never handled a fish before. And then I remember my uh, OA teacher coming over later and was like, I was like, how do you put the fish back in the lake? And then he was like, oh, you just like set it in the lake and it'll swim away. And I was like, well, what if someone just threw it? And he'd be like, then they would be in big trouble. And I was like, yeah, okay, got it. <laughs> I just didn't say a word. I think there's a video of it, but I don't know where it is. And last picture, this is me and Logan in Grand Canyon. I thought since there were a lot of cute little baby pictures of me and Logan, I'd throw this one in to show us a little more grown up. I think I was in eighth grade in this picture potentially. And I thought it was so cool to wear like Nike athletic shorts with Nike socks with Nike shoes. Like 
that was such a middle school thing and I thought it just looked so cute. So yeah, there's some little throwbacks with me. Um, I hope you guys enjoy these pictures. Uh, I don't know why I decided to do this. I just thought it'd be cute and fun and get the stories behind them. So there's some old pictures of me. I hope you enjoyed. I have some really fun videos coming this week um, talking about your guys' embarrassing stories, your confessions. I have a day in life coming, a playlist video. So if any of those sound interesting, then make sure to hit subscribe and turn on those post notifications. I'll see you guys tomorrow.